Okay, uh, uh, my idea is to save the world. Uh, you hear all these people talking about we need to build housing for everyone and like they can have people give them millions and billions of dollars and they build like two or three houses. What? Why are they really that stupid? I mean, if you give that much, all you need is a plot of land. And houses don't need to be like super special and excited. All you have to do is follow the law and make them the smallest legally you are like allowed to and just mass produce them all exactly the same. I, I want to do actually three, yeah, three room houses. Um, just completely like a triangle and just three squares. A square that you enter in your living room, one in your middle, one in the end. I mean, why, why bother to make them all like super fancy and all this high tech? Just go really simple. Do uh, the bare minimum. Uh, Make, make it out of concrete so that it can withstand a lot. And uh, just go to it and just uh, do a whole, um, a whole, a whole, like, level. Like the board completely flat square. You know, just very basic, nothing special. I mean, they want, I mean, all they need to survive, you need a square box, which is your room. Why, why do you need to pay hundreds and thousands of dollars when you can just survive off of us? The bare minimum that the government uh, qualifies as a house. So why are we just mass producing these and releasing them? And there's a uh, there's a homeless problem in Los Angeles. Well, why not make portable one room mobile house mobile homes? You know. They don't need to be anything better than uh, go ahead and put three wheels on them. One on each side. Go ahead and put in a, 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 single, a single bed. And then the four walls. Um, these, are, these are homeless people. You don't need anything special. They just need to be out of the out of the net to the indoors. Why not? And the, you put three wheels on it so they can move around Los Angeles. That way, the cost cannot harass them. They can just move to another area. You know, I'm getting sick of seeing all, all these. Homes camped in Los Angeles. I'm like, this could be solved really easy for under a thousand dollars a person. I'm I'm talking about a really simple a uh, bed the uh, from Home Depot going and getting out uh, uh, whatever it's for. Almost for. Uh, they a trailer, a one-person small trailer. If you want to make it bigger, you can make it bigger. 
but you can just do the very minimum. I mean, homeless don't need a super nice house. Everyone wants to build all this super nice stuff. No one just builds, uh, if you build them the very basics, that will solve the legal problems. Go around all the legal stuff. That's what you mainly have to go around. We're trying to build all this fancy, nice stuff. You know, they just need a, th a three-wheeled house. They can move by hand. You know, but you guys aren't paying attention. My goal is to make... Um, I know all the loopholes in the law. Like, personal mobility devices are legal. Up to 55 miles per hour, but you only have a small area. And then you can also go ahead and build um, electric personal mobility devices, mobility houses, like covered wagons and stuff. The speed limit on them is 35 miles per hour. But you don't need a license if it's electric driven or manual driven. So if you build a square box that is controlled by a, a set of wheels that are battery powered, you don't need a license to drive it around. There are so many loopholes in the law that people need to learn. We can go ahead. I mean, right now, all, all of your information, you're giving all your information to a third party company because you don't want your information to be in the government. But most of the government I I believe you guys are talking about is the CIA, the anti American part of the government. I want to take the CIA and honor JFK and break it into a thousand pieces and have every American that wants to, to go ahead and register with the CIA and they will go ahead and make you a thousand copies of yourself. They will go ahead and give you access to LifeLock where you can go ahead and make if I copy of yourself, give me all of your information, then all of your information is closed to, and you are the one, the copy of you choose to sell out what information and they take, so you can be a judge on um, where the money goes, and people who are watching your videos and your entertainment that's on Facebook, and making money for you. Cause wouldn't it be nice if all of your money goes to you and pay your tax instead of going to Google and not paying any taxes? Wouldn't it be nice to think about it? Uh, uh, but you give not be a first amendment. Well, n not really. You're keeping yourself safe. You know, you're not giving out your Fourth Amendment. Well, you, you're putting your own private information out on the internet. What you're doing is you're, asking, you're having the government give you all their spying tools to help keep you safe. Because if you are safe, then the people around you will be safe. And the more people that are safe, the more people that will be safe around them. So the more people that we get to join onto this. In America, we do for a thousand people for every American. That way we can lower the minimum wage. For now, 
the government would give you a thousand dollars, yes, three thousand dollars every month for your one thousand copies of yourself. Answering the phone, living in the Sims fantasy world, keeping track of you, and you can go ahead and have electronic copies of yourself, watching over activities of stuff. You can go ahead and keep one of your copies in Congress and be able to know what all their information. Because I have heard <coughs> the Democrats lie to you because they really honestly think you're stupid that you can't remember that no one else in U.S. history has ever done this. But they are the first ones to do it, and they expect you to think that it's a normal thing. Because they're in charge of the schooling. And they hopefully they are too brainwashed not to realize that they you go to public schools and, and kids for the rich people go to private schools. You know, every so often they have a really rich person public school, which you learn the basics. But the schools are just a little bit nicer area, and they study more on doing all the stuff, you know. By allowing every American to have a thousand copies of themselves, that would that three thousand a month would be very good for most people. Just that 3000 extra every month. And all you have to do is carry around a, a cell phone that lets you call places for free. Oh, but the cell phone's going to track where you are. Well, yeah, because when you copy it or you sell, it your cell phone. So you have a, an image so people are watching and can watch you walk around in public or watch on uh, your artificial copy of yourself that is dressed by Amazon. And what they do is because Amazon provides a cloud to where your artificial copy they'll go send you the real clothes so they can go ahead and send you stuff for free because you're working for M well, Amazon working for you, you're working for Amazon, you're keeping track of Amazon to make sure that everything is good. You're answering the phones for Amazon just like you're answering the phones for the government because you have a thousand copies of yourself. I'm hoping that this will go ahead and spread around to all of the other five by countries. <laughs> you know, then we then we'll get into like the war. This country makes every citizen gets the choice of having ten thousand copies of themselves. And they're answering the phone, and they're making five dollars each every day, and they got ten thousand people. They're making fifty thousand dollars a day just to do the everyday stuff, and because artificial intelligence needs to have a human powered information to change it, so I guess enough emotional, just not completely artificial. There is some nature built into it. Okay, one of my solutions says, well, I'll tell you more. Okay, bye.